when I was 13 years old. I went to the first National Boy Scout Jamboree. It was in Washington, D.C., and amongst other things, uh, we took a tour of the FBI. And I shook hands with Mr. Hoover, and I said, Mr. Hoover, one of these days I'm going to come back and go to work for you. And uh, lo and behold, I did. I was 17 when I applied, and I had, I had to, of course, be 18 before they would accept me. Early in 1942, I had a telegram from the FBI uh, offering me a job paying $120 a month in the communications section of the FBI for a year and a volunteer to go in the service. The war comes to an end, you leave the service. Where do you go from there? I went back to work for the FBI. While I was in the FBI, I entered law school, completed the, the, the three years finally, and spent the last two and a half years working for the FBI as an administrative assistant in Mr. Hoover's office, so I saw Mr. Hoover every day. What was he like? Well, he was a, he was a very much a disciplinarian, very strong organizational man. He built a great organization, and I had great admiration for him. What were some of the, the things that the FBI is working on? In the uh, first year, during, well, uh, the beginning of World War II, uh, of course, we were worrying about the infiltration by uh, the Germans and the Japanese, and. Um, all kinds of espionage cases and um, after the war the main concern that Mr. Hoover had and a whole lot of other people had was the communist threat and uh, uh, there was literally hundreds of thousands of cases open to check out people who might be uh, you know communists uh, sympathizers and supporters. Hollywood people that used to be suspected of communism, what was, what was that about? Some of their activities were such that uh, their, their, their relationships with people were very left-wing uh, individuals. Communism had an appeal to some people who thought, you know, that the proletariat ought to be in charge and they were against a uh, constitutional government. So there were some real concerns then? Oh, there's definitely, yeah. yeah. What was it that kind of quieted those down? The war went on for right. a number of years. Right. I think the American people finally kind of came back to the realization that the Russians were not such nice guys after all. You know, the Russians were allies of ours in World War II, but uh, Stalin uh, had other ambitions yeah. after the yeah. war was over with. Did you have any contact with the President of the United States? When, no. you were, when you were there? No. Do you remember Hoover talking to them at all? Uh, yes. In the position that I was in as an administrative assistant, we monitored every phone conversation. What were some of those conversations like? I'm not going to comment on that.